In this video, we'll talk about logistic regression. Let's start by understanding how it compares to linear regression. Linear regression is useful when the value you want to predict is numeric, such as the price of a package of pumpkins. But when your prediction is categorical, for example, whether a pumpkin is orange or white, then logistic regression is a better technique to use. Despite having regression in the name, logistic regression is really a classification method. Let's get some visual intuition for binary logistic regression, where we classify our data into two classes, which we'll label with 0 and 1. You learned earlier that the prediction line of linear regression can be represented with the following formula. That works great for predicting continuous values, but in binary logistic regression, we don't want a continuous prediction. Ideally, we want our predictions to be constrained to just two values, 0 or 1. One way to achieve that is to pass the output of a linear function through a sigmoid function. The sigmoid function produces values that are guaranteed to lie between 0 and 1, and its S-shape pushes most of the output values close to either 0 or 1. If we treat the output values as probabilities, we can choose a threshold value for deciding between the two classes. For example, if our threshold is 0.5, we classify data points with predictions less than 0.5 as class 0, and data points with predictions greater than 0.5 as class 1. You can think of the formula for logistic regression as two separate steps, where the first step is the same as linear regression, and the second step transforms that result using a sigmoid function. Or you can combine the two in a single step. To make this more concrete, let's assume that our X feature is the price of a package of pumpkins, and the Y label determines whether the pumpkin is orange or white. The dots correspond to our original data. It seems that more expensive pumpkins are generally white, and cheaper ones are orange, but there's some overlap. Logistic regression determines the location and steepness of the S-curve that best approximates those points. So far, we talked about binary logistic regression, where your prediction can be classified in one or two ways. But there are other types of logistic regression, such as multinomial and ordinal. You can use multinomial logistic regression when your prediction has more than two classes. For example, you might want to predict if the pumpkins are orange, white, or striped. You can use ordinal logistic regression when you want to predict an ordered outcome. For example, if you're predicting whether the pumpkins are small, medium, or large. You learned a lot in this video. In the next few videos, you'll be writing code that applies the theory you just learned. So stay tuned.